Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have successfully completed the slots concept in our previous video. Now let's move on to the another concept in the view 3 composition API that is provide or inject. So this provide or the inject property when we will try to use it. Let's try to see. For example, let's say that whenever we need to pass data from parent to child, normally we use the props. So this is the common thing. Whenever we are trying to pass data, so we will be using the props. If you try to see in our app.view and anywhere, so whenever you are trying to send the data, we will be using this props concept like this. So fine. So this is okay. Imagine the case that we have a large component tree. That means we are having in nested components like deeply rooted nested components if you are having. So whenever you are passing to a distant ancestor component, so you need to pass to a distinct distinct. So that means deep child if you want to transfer the data. So with only props means then you need to pass the props through the entire parent chain. So that is the main the problem. So that means notice that the middle components whichever you are trying to pass the props. So those components are not uh, nowhere using this props thing, but the deep child only can access it. So now we not uh, so now if you try to use the props and all those things, so this is called as in something like a props drilling. So you are trying to send the props to the deeper, deeper, deeper components. So this is called as a normally called as in props drilling. And difficult and definitely what it what I can say is it is not at all easy to use or it is not at all fun to deal with. So to solve this type of the issue, so we have a concept called as an provider in and inject. So here the parent component can serve as a dependency provider, whereas this all the ancestor component or any component in the descendant tree can take the data using the inject thing. So regardless how deep it is. So that is the thing provide thing. Normally first what I will try to do is I will try to show you the general scenario where we can find the issue and then how the provide and inject will solve this type of issue. I will try to show you a demo. For example, let's say that we are having here the post. I am creating the post.view here this is the post.view and another one we will be having something like single post single post dot view and let's say that we are be having another one category category dot view so these are the three components we are having here i am having the template new post component the post component and single post template will be having a template and here i can have single post component and the last one is a category here also we will writing the template and this one is the category component these are the three components we are having let's inject this post component in the app.view try to see i am commenting out these all the things here i am importing the post component input post component from components slash post slash post dot view so this is the post component and here let's assume that i am having a constant message do we have any message with good message okay here we are using only two places we are using right okay so here i am using a message do we having a message hi leela web have provide or inject so this is the message i want to pass to the post component here i will be using the post post component here i will be using the post component if you see the output so we are able to see the post component fine so now i need to pass this message nothing but this message i need to pass to the post component so in this post component here so we are having another one which we will be having something like script setup script setup put post component sorry single post single post from single post so here i will be using the single post we can have single post and another one in the single post let's have script setup script setup and here we will be importing the category view import category view okay so import category from category view so i am importing this category 
and here i can use this category okay now if you see the output how will the output will look like refresh this page not read properties in the single post dot view reading id single post dot view import category from category dot view okay we are using this category fine in the category dot view we are using this one in the post dot view we are using the single post thing looks fine here if i try to refresh this page not read properties of undefined let's try to see what is this error okay this single post it is importing from some somewhere else so we need to remove this one single post so this is the single post it needs to import yeah now if you try to see the output let's refresh this page hopefully we are able to get yeah a post component in this inside this post component we are having single post component and inside this one we are having this category component fine everything looks correct so now what is the problem here so the problem is now i am passing this post message this one so that means we need to catch it as a props here but this post will not use this message thing so this one need to pass it to the single post and single post also doesn't use this one we need to pass this to the category so that this category will be using that props thing so now what i need to do here it is sent as a props and here we need to catch this props so here i can use define props of message okay i am catching this message again i need to pass this message message this one we passed to the single post and here again we need to catch this defined props and here i need to catch this message and again we need to pass to this message so this is called as a props drilling so here i am using this message and here we need to use the category okay so here we can have script setup so here we need to use defined props and here i can get this message and here we will be using this message okay so like this now if i try to see the output if i refresh this page so we should be able to see hi lila web dev like this so now we have passed this one to the category component using the traditional way of approach okay so using the traditional way of approach so now but this traditional way of approach we can solve it using the provide and inject so this provide and inject will be better will be very much useful for us so to, in order to solve this one so how, what we have did it here so here we are having this post component okay in this post component we are passing it to the post here so in this post we are sending it the props but this post component is not using this message why because it needs to be used by the category component which is present deep nested uh, level in the post so here it will need to pass it to the single post in order to use by the category and again we need to pass it through the category like this we need to pass it so like this passing so here we have a situation in such a way that we are drilling the props we are sending the props to the deep nested root so wherever it is wherever we are trying to use it we can use it but this creates an issue right so this type of issue can be solved using the provide and inject so i will try to explain you in the next video so how we can solve this provide inject thing how we can rewrite the same code in the provide and inject i will try to explain you in the second video so hope you understood about this one the problem of this props drilling thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you